is Andrew's current work position. So we've got a rainy day here in Texas and we are continuous, continuing finishing up some unfinished projects. Right now, I'm working on the fridge. We got this fridge, um, replaced it. We replaced it exactly one year ago now, if I think back. And I had some trouble getting the trim piece to stay on the top of the door. Well, when we got it, the trim piece was pre-broken. Pre, yes. And so we didn't really have a choice. That was the only fridge that was gonna fit in this space. We just bought it, we put it in. We didn't even have panels on it. They wanted to charge us some ungodly amount for the panels. So Hundreds. We just, <laughs> yeah, we'll just make our panels however that goes. Anyway, I made this. It seemed like it was just an eighth of an inch too tall. The trim wouldn't stick on it. So I'm gonna trim it now, um, just a little bit off with a razor blade and that um, trim piece should stick on the top of the door now. And that'll finish this project up. Yeah, be nice to finish something. I feel a bit like grandpa whittling on the porch right now. Just have to, a little bit at a time and take it slow. These are the trim strips for the top here. One is the one that was on here before. It's got little broken tabs. Um, we got lucky, we walked into a, I wanna say it was a camping world and wanted to know if they could order us one that was not broken. And they disappeared into the back, came back forward and they said, oh, here's some, you can have them. We special order them, they were the wrong size. We can't return them, so here you go. Got this trimmed to how I want it. I think it'll work. I'm just gonna now open the door and snap this trim into place. Is it too high maybe? No? Okay. To install the fans at the back of this fridge, I need to start on the front side because I need to pull the fridge forward. To do that, I need to loosen screws top and bottom to be able to slide it out in the cabinet. I need the space behind the fridge once it's slid forward to be able to reach up behind and mount the fans basically up higher than you can see and reach with the fridge all the way back in place. Okay. All right, up in here we've got a screw and then another screw here. On the back side of the fridge, I've got two screws on the corners. There's essentially like a foot here. Um, then there's, on the left side, it's a little bit easier to see isolated. I've got that screw already loose right there. Um, gonna take these screws out and let's see if I can get it to slide. There's a small thing here. I don't love how that's not. <laughs> right, so watch this. This uh, line has a loop upward in it. And if I go like this, we get more water out. And that's because this shouldn't have, essentially shouldn't have a sink drain trap loop upward in it. It should be flat all the way down. Since I'm back here working and I'm gonna add some more wires, I'd like to set up the wires that are here a little bit better and hopefully this will be cleaner by the time I'm done. This is the propane line and to slide this fridge all the way out, I would need to disconnect the propane line. Under these conditions, I'm hoping I can get about six inches forward without messing with the propane line, um, but I have to be careful as I do that. I'm getting ready to install my fans. I've got the two fans attached together with some simple attachment hardware here. What I'm gonna do is put them up on the wall behind the fridge in the flue, and I've got an angle bracket to mount them on the wall and then mount the fans to the angle bracket. Now, I've taken the two fans and I've wired them together here with Wago connectors, so that's a three-way Wago connector. From the Wago connectors with the two fans wired together, I've got my wire to run the distance to temperature controller, the temperature controller runs to the power wires. So power goes in, switches on, and feeds up to the fans. Then I've got the probe here, which reads the temperature in the, um, in the flute. All right, allow me to explain what's going on up in here. This is Andrew's current work position. All right, we've got the fans mounted with two screws to the bracket more on each side, and then the bracket is mounted to the wall with one, two, three screws. Got the wiring coming down here. Clearly those Wagos are just hanging. I need to get this wire tied back and supported, but I've got plenty of slack to bring the Wagos up and attach them with one of those screws. I'm going to um, finish up with some securing of the wires. I'm gonna use some of these, and a couple of the connections I wanna just switch to Wagos because I think they'll be a better quality connection. 
gonna take a couple before and after pictures of this. It's hard enough to get in here. Uh, it's impossible to film. I was wrong about how this was gonna work. I was hoping I could replace the wire nut on these because um, I just really didn't like it with a Wago, but the gauge of the wire is too big. I don't have a Wago type connector big enough. So I'm gonna have to put that wire nut back. I'm disappointed a little bit here because I thought I had a solution. I am gonna research now to see if Wago makes a big enough connection so that I can clean up this wiring. If they do, I'm gonna order some so I have them and I'll bring you along for that. The fans are working. Uh, I'm not sure if you can hear it up in there, but they're definitely spinning. And um, the default settings on the, thermo on the uh, temperature switch made them come on immediately. So I haven't even messed with the, um, the switch yet to, to find a good set point, but the good news is they're on. The main goal here is achieved. We've got our temperature switch connected. And what this does is come on, when it gets hot in here, it adds fan power to blow air upward or suck air upward. And that will help to cool the coils on the back of the fridge so it can work more efficiently. I'm a little disappointed in myself. I feel like the organization here is about 10% better. I was hoping it would get a lot better than that. It's starting to rain. I think this is as good as it's gonna get today. It is a little bit better. I've got the high loop out of the drain line. I've got some of the wires better than they were. Um, I guess I'm okay with it for now, but I gotta come back and continue to improve here.